In this video, I'm going to be discussing another new feature in Easy Green Screen 7 that I really like, and that is this pause for levels adjustment. This allows the user to have custom input on the transparency levels for their mask. But what this does that's really cool is you can do that before it's applied the defringing and the hair refinement. So you can really crank down on the levels and even if you make the edges really hard, this defringing and auto hair refinement can take care of that. Now I will say if you're using this, it's usually something in your screen screen setup you could correct because you normally shouldn't have to use this. And in this case, um, there's green spill on the shin guards which get partially erased. Now that's caused by this green floor being long in front of them and the lights bouncing up onto the shin guards. So if you had the floor set to only a few inches in front of the feet, um, you're probably not gonna get that. But in any case, there are times when you'll need this. So I'm just gonna demonstrate here. You'll check this on and then um, when running this, depending on how much you adjust the levels, it's usually good to adjust the defringe level. I'm going to set this to auto high. And if you're really cranking on the levels, this seems to be a good setting to use. And then I'm going to check on the auto hair refinement. There's not much hair here in this image, but we'll go with it anyway, just um, so we can look at the results of it with that on. And then that's it. I'm going to hit remove screen. Okay, so it's going to pop up this levels adjustment. And what we're looking at here on the levels is this group of pixels that you see on the left, that is your green screen. So this left slider has to be to the right of that to remove the screen fully. And this group of pixels all the way on the right, this is your foreground. Everything else in between is your partial transparency. So these areas that are partially transparent, like on these shin guards. If I push this slider to the right, you see that transparency is going away. And the more I go to the right here, the more I can bring those areas back in, but then of course the screen starts coming back. And in this image, there's not a lot of room to work with here, but I'm going to really crank these levels down I'm just going to put them right next to each other just as a worst case scenario for how you're adjusting levels. Yeah, I left some shadow on the feet. That was a, pretty much the same color of green as on the shin guard, so there's no way to really recover one and not the other. But cover that up with some graphics or whatever, no big deal. Um, but let's see what these levels did to the hair. So, and the edge of the skin too. You see that this hair, I mean, it looks just terrible right now. The edge of the skin's got this green fringe on it. And that's because we really just crank down on this and um, the pixels are pretty much on or off right now. There is no fading or partial transparency. But as I mentioned, this happens before the defringe in these levels. So it's first going to apply this, what's called non-hair defringe. Now it's called non-hair um, but it's really for the entire image. It just applies it to the entire image before the, the um, hair refinement's applied. Now, when it's set to auto mode, it's going to use um, Photoshop's smart radius features to automatically determine areas that need to be erased or areas that need to be added. So it's going to analyze these very outermost edges. It's not going to recover a lot of hair, although some little hairs on the edges it can sometimes, but it will also cut into this green too. So it's gonna um, be smart about going around the edges and trying to reanalyze the edges. Now the auto hair refinement runs after that and it never erases anything. So that's an important note. This will never erase any pixels. So it's not going to clean up that fringe. It's only going to add more hair. So in the case where you really crank these levels down, you you have to use this non-hair defringe to clean up and then auto hair refine to add hair if you want to add hair back in. In this case, I actually probably wouldn't even use the hair refinement. I'd probably just use this one 
and just let a few of these stray hairs fall off. But just to demonstrate both in this image, as soon as I hit OK, it's going to now run those refinements and watch these edges here. So those green areas around the skin are gone. Around here, the hair, it actually looks pretty decent. If I click on the um, the color, because a lot of times against your checkerboard, it's really hard to see. And it's um, that checkerboard just shows through those partial transparency areas. But if we turn a color on here, we can see there is some detail on the hair and it actually looks pretty dang good. I mean, this image is probably just usable as it is here. Um, other than that area of shadow under the feet, which I said, like cover that up with graphics or something or brush it out, whatever you want to do with it. But really, really cool. Um, one more thing I need to point out with this feature because I forgot to mention it. So let's let me run it again real quick. It's just a quick mention here. Is if it, this pops up and you don't want to change anything, or even if you've changed anything and you decide you didn't want the changes, don't hit cancel or hit escape. Always hit OK. Because if you hit cancel, it's not going to apply these levels where, because Easy Green Screen is automatically determining this level. And if you just hit cancel, it's going to go back to that layer before this was applied. So this is what you're going to get. So we're here. If I hit cancel, all of a sudden our screen's not going to be all the way removed. And we can see that in our mask. So that happens, just hit remove again. You're starting over, hit OK. Although I didn't make the adjustments, but um, now you see that um, our mask is now good. Now, I've mentioned this in the other videos too, um, but I'll mention it again here. Um, as long as you have this original image layer and you've not painted on the layer itself, if you hit remove green screen, you can start back over from this original image. So you don't have to undo anything in Photoshop unless you deleted or painted on that layer, then you have to go back to the original. Anyway, I hope that feature is helpful for you. And I think it's going to be a big addition in Easy Green Screen 7.